Welcome back, everybody. We are here to pull cards for December the 28th. I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy, and after that, I'll pull one card for each sign. So we'll look at the overall energy of the day, and then we'll look at individual uh, predictions to see what shall show up. All right, so overall energy shows up as... What is that? The sun. Okay. So we've got the sun card showing up for our overall energy. Sun can mean a lot of different things in the tarot. It can mean happiness. It can mean satisfaction, fulfillment. It can also mean truth, transparency. Um, yeah. It can mean the spotlight. It can mean attention. It can mean feeling encouraged and uplifted and seen, especially seen with that big eye right there in the center of that card. This can also talk about uh, Leo or embodying Leo-type personalities as well. So a lot of different things can come up with this card. I think that what we have coming up on the coordinating card for each sign is going to make a big difference on how this gets interpreted for each sign along the way today. Let's rock and roll. Aries, starting with you guys. Eight of Swords. Aries, I think that what's going on here is that there's a truth that you are definitely coming to understand today. And that truth has you really thinking in circles. I feel like you've got um, some options in front of you about things that you can do with this new information. And you're just not quite sure. You may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed by the options and not exactly knowing what to do with them. Okay. Next up, we're looking at Taurus. With the Seven of Wands coming up here for you guys. Boop -a -doo -doo. Taurus, I think you're taking a stand today for something. Uh, taking a stand for something that you believe in. Something about yourself. Something that you want to do. Or, um, yeah, I'm going to say something that you want to do. And other people are trying to say, nay, 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 you can't do that. I think you're standing up for that. I think you're understanding that, yes, 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 you can. <laughs> and I think you're letting those other people know that uh, they probably should uh, get with the program, basically. And, of course, I'm saying it in a little bit more uh, harsh or firm way than you probably are. But I do think you are taking a stand for yourself and for moving forward with something that is important to you. Next up, we're looking at Gemini. Page of Wands showing up here, Gemini. You guys have some kind of new information coming in that is uh, basically giving you encouragement or the go-ahead on some kind of inspiring idea that you have that you would like to put your energy and effort into. So we like that. Cancer. Queen of Swords coming up here, Cancers. Cancers, I think that um, you are doing something today that is making you feel really good, very productive. This may be business focused, but it doesn't have to. But you are doing things in a very focused way today. And it's helping you feel very productive and, and satisfied and happy with what you're doing. Next up, we're looking at Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay, so Leo with the Eight of Cups coming up in reverse. Leos, I think that there's something that you really enjoy doing that makes you feel good, happy, satisfied, productive. I think you've kind of had that on the back burner for a little bit, and you're getting back to it today. Next up, we're looking at Virgo. Tower card coming up in reverse. I love it. I love it. So Virgos, this is just telling me that you are upgrading from something that was in the past that sort of disappeared and you found a way to replace that sense of security that whatever that was that disappeared 
used to bring to you. And I think that you found that in such a way that you feel very happy and satisfied with that. So this is really the end of the tower story when it comes in right side up. This is where you come out better off than where you were before. So that's where we see you today, Virgos. We like it. Next up, we're looking at Libra. Libra. You guys are really um, investigating energy and how to harness energy for yourself today. And I think that that is going very well for you, bringing you a lot of satisfaction as you do that. Next up, we're looking at Scorpio. Six of Cups coming up here, Scorpio. What is happening? Scorpio, I think we're seeing the truth of a situation from our past and understanding what was going on there that was making things work out the way they did. They didn't really work out the way we wanted them to. But now we're understanding the truth about what went on there and understanding that is is really helping us to come into a good space emotionally, having that information become transparent. Next up, we're looking at Sagittarius. Sagittarius with the Queen of Swords showing up in reverse. Boopity-doo-doo, Queen of Swords in reverse. Oh, Sagittarius. <laughs> This is some uh, this is some energy here. This just tells me that you are, um, first of all, I think you understand the truth about some kind of situation you were in with another person, and now you are cutting that person off as totally and completely as you possibly can, and it's bringing you great satisfaction to do so. Next up, we're looking at Capricorn. Capricorn, Two of Pentacles. Capricorns, you're getting busy today. There's a lot going on, and I think that you're really enjoying it. It feels to me like maybe it hasn't been as busy as you would like it to be for a little bit, and now you're really enjoying getting back into that busy mode. Aquarius, the Fool card showing up here. Aquarius, I think you're out doing something that makes you feel happy, satisfied, productive, and fulfilled today. And I think that this is something that, uh, you know, we're not carrying on with. I think this is something that is new today. Next up is Pisces. So Pisces, we do have the Five of Cups. Um, Pisces, this really talks to me about the idea that you've got some kind of truth showing up right in front of your face today that is making you feel disappointed. You know, the good news when we have truth, even if it is disappointing, is that having that truth is what allows us to make good decisions moving forward. As long as we're living in, the, in a world of smoke and mirrors and lies and deceit, then whatever decisions we make are not solid ones. So with this truth coming in, this allows you to make some solid decisions that have a much better chance of being productive than what your decisions did before. So it's it's that it's a little rough, but it is allowing you to move forward productively. Okay, so that's what I've got for everybody today. Thank you all so much for being here with me. I do appreciate it. Looking forward to reading for a few of you a little bit later on today. And the rest of you, I'll see you back on the next video. Of course, remember, put up a thumbs up or share this video if you found it beneficial. And of course, put your feedback down below. I always love to hear it. Everybody have a fantastic day. Peace out.